so it's a very blustery day outside our studio today so I've decided I'm going to get a bit tropical. So today's video is a step-by-step -step to show you how to make these two fantastic loved up flamingos. Right, we've got a pair of flamingos sitting there and they need a, a bit of a, a background so I think they need a little tropical island. So we're going to do the palm trees next and um, it's quite straightforward. I've got a few things together for that. Um, I've got some glass tack gel um, that we're going to use for the palm fronds in a, in a little while. Um, I'm going to create the palm tree uh, trunks themselves with some powder first. So I'm going to use um, sienna powder and then I'm going to use some woodland brown um, for a bit of texture on the tree trunks. Difficult to say, tree trunks. Um, we could use a powder pro like we did on the body of the flamingos or I just wanted to show you um, if you haven't got a powder pro how you would do it with your fritz shovel. So it's quite straightforward. need my mask because we're dealing with powder. There we go. So this um, is good for the base of the tree trunk. Oh, steaming up. Just bear with me, Carla. There we go. <laughs> so I think I've said to you uh, on previous videos, you need um, just a small amount on your fritz shovel there. And the way you do this is just keep hold of it with this hand and then tap with the other hand so that you are tapping out just a straight line but you can see it's much thicker and it needs to be thicker anyway because it's a palm tree but if you have um, a shovel full like this and you start tapping it'll go over the edge so you need just a small amount you can always go back get some more you do it this way around as well so this is going to be the base color for the palm trees you can go right the way down here we're going to go over the base of it with some foliage and flowers Let's just do this bit. If it goes into the corner like that, just get rid of it, get some more. What you're looking for is your powder to be along the edge of the fritz shovel, like this. Here we go. That's slightly thinner because it's further away. And then if you need to, you can just tidy up the edges with your colour shaper and just push it into the bottom there. There we are. A couple of palm trees. And the other thing you could do with this, if you want to leave it just like that, let's just tidy these edges. There we go. Nice, oops nice straight edges maybe that's a bit too skinny there the other thing you could do is just use your color shaper to do this because if you remember um, palm trees have that sort of crisscross bark um, so that you can you can just do that and have your bark resemble palm trees so if you're happy you could leave it like that um, alternatively let's just get rid of this so we don't knock it over can you tell I talk from experience when I say these things <laughs> so the other thing is um, we can get this which is um, the woodland this is the um, opal woodland green uh, green woodland brown even so we want an extra texture on there. Again, same technique, but we're just adding a little bit of texture. Don't worry if it flicks off like that. Get rid of that. Trust the old colour shaper and push it back into place. So that's it. That's your tree trunks for your palm trees. 
So we're ready to put some palm fronds on that now. Aren't you happy that those are in place? I'll put that to one side. We may use some of that a little bit later on um, if we've got sort of dark leaves on the bottom. That's great. So I'm happy with the tree trunks. Um, what I've also done here is gone through my stringers. So if, like me, you've got a box um, that you keep your stringers in. Let me just get rid of this mask. There we are. At the bottom, you've probably got something like this, which is a whole mishmash of broken, tiny little pieces. Um, so there's two um, lengths that I need here. First of all, um, I want to put the branches on. So this is my glass tack. There we go, get that down to the bottom. So for this bit here, I want some main branches coming out. So the first length of stringer that I've got is for the branches. So I'm just going to follow the lines roughly that we had. You don't have to be really um, sort of slavish to copy in your design. Just put your, you know, some main uh, fronds out where you want them to be. So I'm just going to empty these out so you can see them. So some of the stringers, um, when I've pulled green stringers, organic green in the past, I've added um, red to it and we get this beautiful sort of variegation where we get these brownish um, twig-like colours. So I've got some slightly longer versions and I've just used, pulled them out and used them for these palm leaves. I've put a little bit of glue um, just because I want to hold it in place, make sure it doesn't jump in the kiln. Um, I don't really want to go over the flamingo because the flamingos are meant to be um, in front, so they, they're kind of in the, the middle ground. So um, if you want to put one there, it needs to be shorter. So just break it off and just pop that there. So you'll have a mixture of longer and shorter ones, and that means you can see some of the palms are standing upwards, some of them are just um, you know waving about in the breeze Hold it. and once you've got these in this is your main structure really for um, where you want to put the rest of the palm fronds on so I'm gonna chop that because I want that to look as though there we go it's going behind that palm so that one's coming out that way so you want the brown ones for this. Turn that over. And we want quite a few because we want it to look as though it's a, a nice, lush, healthy palm tree. Good. So I'm happy with that. Doesn't look much like a palm tree at the moment, so. The next bit you need is this. I'll just get rid of these, pop them over this side and you can see what else we've done. So um, the next pieces that I'm going to use are the pieces that usually are at the bottom of your stringer box. Just move that over and you can see these. So look at that, a right old mishmash of tiny little bits and these are perfect for using on your palms. Now, if I um, show you one of these, you can then watch the rest at your leisure. So all we're going to do is come down, if you think of a palm frond, we're just going to use different lengths and different uh, thicknesses. I'm just going to put a bit more glue on that one. I'm not sure I actually put any glue there. So this is, there we go, ideal stuff. There we are. And you only need it at the end because all you want to do is just hold that palm frond in place. Don't forget you're going to have um, those little fronds that come down um, overlapping each other. So don't just um, have them regimented in, in one little line that on there. Probably want a tiny bit at the end so just chop that off. Pop that down at the end, there we go. There 
Oh, it's a bit too long. Probably have that in half. Crisscross them over like that. So on each one of these, you want to um, add your fronds until you're happy that you've got palm trees that look like they're waving in the breeze there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, crack on with this. Wow, that's a bit of a marathon, but it's worth it. You've probably got a bit more time than me to, to perhaps be a bit neater with your palm fronds, but uh, mine are looking windswept, which I'm happy with. So I think I'm, I'm happy with my palm trees. So time to do the foliage at the bottom on the next bit. <laughs> 